Let us now talk about another uh, category of plants and these plants are known as cam plants. This cam stands for a type of metabolism. It is known as Crassulation Acid Metabolism. So plants which show this kind of metabolism, those are called CAM plants. And the example of CAM plants, that means which plants can be or are called CAM plants are certain succulent xerophytes, like cactus or open chair you can say. So cacti are in this category and some members, some members of U4BAC family they are also uh, the plants which show the same kind of metabolism. Now we have seen C3 plants and C3 cycle in detail. We have also understood C4 plants and what adaptations they have uh, shown or they show to uh, overcome the problem of photorespiration. The plants which are growing in xeric condition, that is dry condition, they have another a big issue to deal with and that is loss of water due to transpiration. So the adaptation or modification which takes place in camp plants is slightly different. What have they done is they have changed the time or timing of opening and closing of stomata. So there is a changed timing of opening and closing of stomata. Normal plants have stomata open during daytime and these stomata close during night. But in these camp plants, stomata open during night and they close during day. So the timing is totally reverse of what is seen in the regular uh, plants. Such a uh, stomata which remain open during night and close during day, they are called scotoactive stomata. This is a characteristic feature of uh, succulents or xerophytes we can say because during daytime if stomata remain open, transpiration would take place and as we just now said that xerophytes have a problem of water. They are growing in dry, xeric condition. So they want to minimize this water loss. So to avoid or minimize that transpiration, the timing of stomatal opening and closure has been changed. So now what exactly happens in this pathway? How do they perform photosynthesis with this changed timing? The photosynthetic process takes place in mesophyll cells only. So it is same, location is same. And here, the stomata are present. We are drawing it like on the surface, but we know that in zero fights, the stomata are also sunken. That means if this is the epidermis, the stomata would be slightly on the deeper side. So they have sunken stomata. Sunken stomata. But here we are just drawing it on the surface because our main emphasis is the process by which this takes place. And this diagram which we are drawing is of mesophyll cell and we will see what is happening in mesophyll cell and as we have shown the stomata open that means this is taking place during night. So here stomata are open. When stomata are open, transpiration is also taking place plus gaseous exchange is also taking place. So carbon dioxide diffuses in. This carbon dioxide reacts with water molecule to form same carbonic acid. The enzyme which is going to help here 
this enzyme is going to be carbonic anhydrase and then this dissociates into H plus and HCO3 that is bicarbonate ions. This is same what was happening in case of C3 or C4 plant. So this is how carbon dioxide is accepted. The enzyme here is carbonic anhydrase. And this carbon dioxide which is in the form of bicarbonate ions is accepted by phosphoenol pyruvate. That means carboxylation of PEP is taking place. The enzyme which is going to help in this process is PEPCO, PEP carboxylase. And the first compound which is formed is oxaloacetic acid. So far, it is exactly same what was happening in C4 plants. This oxaloacetic acid gets reduced. That means there is reducing power. NADPH2 which is required it changes into NADP and malic acid is synthesized. So PEP is phosphoenol pyruvate oxaloacetic acid And MA we are writing for malic acid or malic, malic acid or malic. So during the entire night period, carbon dioxide is taken in because the stomata are open. It is accepted by phosphoenol pyruvate, oxaloacetic acid is formed. This changes into malic. And this malic is stored in the vacuole. So this is the vacuole which we are drawing here and this malic acid is accumulated here. So the entire night what the plant does is carbon dioxide is taken in, converted into malic acid and stored. Again carbon dioxide taken in, stored in the form of malic acid. Here there is no light reaction because this is happening in night time and during daytime, let us see now what is going to happen during daytime. Here, the stomata are going to close. So here we are showing closed stomata. We can write here, stomata are open and here, stomata are closed. And if stomata are closed, there is no exchange. That means nothing is going to come in. And again, let us draw this mesophyll cell. And this is during daytime when stomata are closed. The malic acid which was synthesized and stored. This is the vacuum. Malic acid which was stored diffuses out of the vacuole. This malic acid gets converted into phosphoenol pyruvate. Malic acid is a four carbon compound. Let us come back to what is happening during night time. Carbon dioxide bringing one carbon accepted by PEP which is a three carbon compound and a four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid is formed. This is same as C4 cycle. This four carbon compound changes into another four carbon compound that is malic acid. It is the same four carbon containing malic acid. When it dissociates it gives a three carbon compound that is phosphoenol pyruvate and one carbon is given out in the form of carbon dioxide. During this conversion, NADP gets reduced into NADPH2. So NADPH2 was used during night time and that same NADPH2 is produced during daytime. 
this pyro uh, phosphoenol pyruvate is now again available to accept new carbon dioxide which would be coming during night time this carbon dioxide will be accepted by ru bp and same c3 cycle would take place and glucose will be synthesized so now what is done during daytime because for glucose synthesis or to for C3 cycle to take place ATP is also required and NADPH2 that is reducing power is also required. This is daytime that means the light energy is getting absorbed cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation are taking place which are supplying ATP and NADPH2 from the light reaction. So this is supplied by the light reaction for this C3 cycle to take place. So modification or adaptation which is seen in CAM plans is the timing of opening and closing of stomata and why they have shown this change because they grow in xeric condition which are extremely dry, water availability is very very less. So to minimize the water loss through transpiration, they open their stomata during night time. And when stomata are open, that is the time when gaseous exchange can take place. So carbon dioxide is taken in, it is converted into malic acid and stored. During daytime, now the light reaction would start in the same cells and the malic acid is converted into a three carbon compound and one carbon containing carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is also available and ATP and NADPH2 which are required for the C3 cycle, they are also made available by this light reaction because this is daytime. So light reaction would also start and glucose synthesis takes place. So by changing the time of opening and closing of stomata, these plants have shown a slightly different method of photosynthesis. These are called, these are called CAM plants and this type of uh, photosynthesis is known as CAM plant photosynthesis or photosynthetic process which is seen in CAM plants. The most common examples are the succulent xerophytes like Opuntia, some members of uh, U4BAC family. And the plants which are belonging to Crassuliaceae family, they are also the members and that is why this metabolism has been given that name. So whether it is regular C3 plants or C4 plants or CAM plants, by showing different modifications or adaptations, the process of photosynthesis takes place and glucose is synthesized.